So this is going to be Virgo's horoscope for the month of April 2018. Before I jump into it, I just wanted to show you guys this really cute necklace I just received from a company called Good Goodies. And obviously you can see it's like a crescent moon and my sun sign symbol here, the Capricorn one is in the middle and it's really beautiful. I figured I would just show you guys in case obviously this is an astrology channel if you're interested in something similar. They also have a lot of other astrology products so yeah check it out if you're interested. I will leave a link down below. Now let's jump into it. This is new to my channel doing horoscope videos so if you have any suggestions for like future videos like anything you'd like me to change up in the like way I'm presenting it please let me know down below. If I'm looking down I just have notes on my computer because I did not want to forget anything. So Virgos you guys might find yourself especially concerned with money this month. Oh you just might be focused on financial things whether that be like your bills maybe something to do with credit cards maybe you're looking to get a loan or you're having issues with a loan. Anything having to do with like financial agreements. You're gonna definitely be focused on that a lot. This might be a good month for you to go through your stuff, maybe get rid of some of it, um, sell some of it. And it's a good time to kind of like get rid of stuff that you no longer need that's kind of just sitting around, you know, your home taking up space. Mercury is gonna be in retrograde starting, you know, and like towards the end of March and it's gonna carry over towards mid-April around April 15th. This is a good time to kind of like rework any debts you have, like maybe figure out payment plans or, you know, if there's something that just seems like a miss in your financial life, this is definitely a good time to Maybe turn it around so that it will benefit you and not weigh you down in any way. You know, like maybe set up a payment plan if you're behind on one or pay off some late fees if you've got something like that going on. Like make it a priority during this retrograde. It's also going to be a good time for you to, you know, make some new friends but without neglecting the ones that you already have. And this could really end up benefiting you. As Mercury, you know, goes direct around, like I said, April 15th, everything starts clearing up, you know, maybe like any financial issues you were having they either go away or they start to make more sense or they fall into a better routine and you're gonna start to have a better idea of what you can do to succeed especially for you guys this month financially you might be able to pursue uh, whatever you're trying to pursue you know with a fresh understanding Venus is gonna be in your ninth house this month so you know, you might find that you're gonna travel in the month of April, whether that be like, you know, with friends or it could turn out to be a romantic vacation or travel experience, or you might meet a romantic partner during this time. But again, it could also just be a great time to get away for a friend. Uh, I, I would see it more as traveling for leisure than for work, but it will definitely be an experience where you can broaden your mind and learn something new. You know, it's always good for you to expand your knowledge and this month will be a great time for you to do that. Even even if it's just traveling close to home, anything you learn from any kind of traveling is going to help you, um, you know, this month, anything you learn with new opportunities in the future. Any career efforts you've been making or goal pursuals you've been working on are going to start paying off this month. And you know, you might have somebody come into your life uh, from your past, like maybe an old lover, an old friend, and then, you know, you might rekindle something, or you might just learn a lesson, or you might just have, like, a run-in with them. Between the 17th and the 20th of April, we're all gonna be feeling kind of isolated, so for all of us, all 12 signs, we're all gonna be feeling kind of isolated, and, like, we're having a hard time connecting with other people and communicating with each other, so... You might have some issues in any relationships you have during that time, or you might just feel a little blue or lonely. But it's a really great time to kind of turn inwardly and kind of focus on what you want out of life. Or focus on anything that's negatively weighing on you, whether that be an inward thing or somebody, you know, that you have are having negative experiences with and you need to kind of cut ties with them or maybe you need to cut ties with something physical, like maybe you smoke. Maybe this is a good time to reflect on you know, quitting. Venus is going to trine with Mars between, you know, April 10th and 21st. So this will be a great time to make friends, obviously not, you know, during the 17th to the 20th time, but for the majority of this time, it's gonna be a great time to make friends. You know, you're gonna find that people are better suited to you right now. Like if you ask someone a favor, they'll be more inclined to agree. 
um, and people are just gonna find you more likable during this time. You want to be careful, you know, with your money, especially with shopping, that you're not buying on impulse this month, um, especially during the 10th to the 21st, because that could turn out to be a mistake for you. During this month, you know, your Mars is gonna be in your fifth house, so you're gonna want to put a lot of your time and energy into just having a good time, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You might start to really enjoy sports, so you might be enjoying sports or other hobbies, and maybe you're finding that you're spending some really great quality time having to do with children, whether it's like your own children, you know, friends' children, niece, nephews, or you're just working with children, volunteering with children, something like that. And you're also going to be really wanting to socialize with your friends, um, spend more of your time with your hobbies instead of all work-related stuff. It's going to be a month where, you know, you're going to want to play a little bit more than usual and just kind of loosen up a bit. Your mind is not going to be 100% focused on work, which for you guys is a really good thing because sometimes Virgos can be really rigid, so this month is really going to feel a little less constricting or confined because you're going to kind of feel like you just want to let loose and kind of just like kick back, relax a little bit more than you usually do, so that's good for you guys. You're going to feel more creative in your work or whatever it is that you're pursuing than you normally do. And around the 18th, Mars is going to try and with Jupiter all the way towards the end of the month, like the 29th, so you're going to definitely feel like you kick more into high gear around that time and you know you're gonna feel good about yourself you just don't want to feel too overconfident because sometimes that can lead to like an accident getting hurt or you know a financial loss so just you're gonna feel good but don't you know don't let go of caution <laughs> overall this is gonna be a good month for you and especially your love life which is never a bad thing you might find yourself turning back to a past fling or relationship this month, especially for you guys, Virgos, you might be rekindling things. No, the only thing is, is that if you're turning back to like a past ex-boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever it is that's going on, it might kind of put a delay on the progress of your love life. It, like it might feel right and exciting and fun right now, but it might not end up working out in the future and it might kind of put a delay on you growing, you know, in, in that department. Other people are going to be really important to you this month and, you know, using your social skills is really going to benefit you. Like I said, you're just going to want to go with the flow this month way more than usual. Uh, it might sound difficult to you now, but you'll kind of get that vibe as the month goes on. This is a great month to make a change that's going to directly benefit you, so don't be afraid of change this month. Um, if something's been bothering you, let it go. If you've been wanting to change something, feel free to do it. It will, you know, turn out in your favor. This is also going to be a really great month for you to refresh. You know, maybe some kind of a detox. Like I said, if you've had a bad habit lately and you really want to kick it, this is definitely the month to do it. Or if you just feel like your space is cluttered, this might be a good month to kind of like revamp it. Um, you know, make some changes that just make you feel overall better. Because you're going to also find that you have a lot more energy this month. So all the, you know, aforementioned things are going to be easier for you to achieve. But anyway, so that is pretty much your horoscope for the month of April. Um, I'm going to be doing these monthly now, so make sure you're subscribed so that you can catch them. Turn on notifications so that you can see all my videos, and if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out good goodies, and have a good day or night.